Hi, welcome to my video about my hand truck garden cart. This is the regular old boring voiceover. You can see it used to have plastic wheels, but the hubs broke on plastic wheels, so I had to upgrade. Got some nice steel rims. It's constructed out of plywood and 2x4 lumber. Some 2x2s are included. And it's all screwed together and it detaches rather easily from the hand truck. You can truck 1.5 cubic feet of dirt, probably a little bit more if you overfill it. If you are stacking bags of dirt in it, you can carry even more than 1.5 cubic feet of dirt. It's pretty good for moving leaves around the yard, moving dirt around the yard, moving sod around the yard, um, just about anything really. I mean, you just gotta watch out if your hand truck is cheap, and has cheap wheels, then you might break the wheels, but those are pretty easy to replace. If you got pneumatic tires, that's gonna be pretty boss. So you can see how it's constructed here. Basically you got two sides, put a piece of plywood on, put a piece of plywood on the bottom, and then you got some bracing on the back. And the bracing on the back is what helps you attach it securely to the hand truck. And it happens to line up with where I have my alignment blocks in the back. So there's two alignment blocks which keep the hand truck from moving from side to side, which you can't see in this shot and then I've screwed into the support blocks from the sides. So you can see I added a little spacer and got one 2x4 across the back with four 4-inch four screws in it. It's just about the only thing holding it on there, but it's uh, fastened pretty securely. The two alignment blocks help to maintain the horizontal alignment and position, and you can seriously grab that axle and pick up the whole garden cart. Um, this is helpful when you're trying to shake every last bit of dirt out of it. So I've tapered the board in the bottom back of the cart, and this isn't necessary, but it helps to keep dirt from resting on that and not dumping. So you don't have to tip it all the way to dump it out. Um, however, it does completely invert, and whether you're shoveling it out, it will dump out very nicely. So the bottom and back are just secured with drywall screws. There's no bracing across the front lip and the bottom front, um, so the plywood could sag there a little bit. It's fairly rigid though, I've never had any problems with it. Um, if you're really gonna secure this, I would actually put a brace of a, like a regular piece of hardwood underneath the front lip in front of the cart. It would be out of the way. You'd still be able to use a flat shovel and it would work pretty good. Um, but I haven't run any problems. Plywood seems to be holding up pretty good. But if I ever get any sag in the front of the cart, I'll probably reinforce it.